Hi, Robin Vermont here. We're looking quickly at how to carry out the single sample t-test in SPSSS, R Commander and R. Um, you can find out more details and explanation of the output in my PDF documents which are at the website listed above www.robinbeaumont.co.uk slash virtual classroom. First SPSSS. Right, we have a set of values down in the first column, they could be anything, blood tests, what have you, and we want to compare those to a mean in a population. First of all, let's have a look at some descriptive statistics of the data. Choose descriptive statistics, explore, put in a variable into dependent list, click OK, and we get the results here. We have a median value of 5.5, and a mean value also of 5.5. We look further down, we can see the box plot saying much the same thing. It also shows us two outlying cases, case number 12 and case number 8, which we might want to check up on. Right, let's go back and carry out the actual analysis. Analyze, compare means, one sample t-test. Move our variable into the test variable box. We can change the confidence interval, we don't need to. Also, we have the option of changing what we compare it against the mean value. So we could change it to, say, 3. So we'll change our test value to 3 in this instance. That might be the population mean and or another sample mean. Run the test. And here we are. We have result, the t-value, degrees of freedom p-value, two-tailed notice, the mean difference that is 2.5 which is basically 3 from 5.5 I reserved the mean and the confidence interval. Now in our commander, first load our commander, assuming we have installed it Are. Load our data. We'll use the SPSS data we had before. Call it my data frame. Creates the code from the dialog box, and that's the result and it's found 14 rows, one column. Check the data. And now we'll run the actual test. Statistics means single sample t-test. Notice because we only have one column of data and we haven't defined anything else with it. It's only often giving us that option. We've chosen the one variable we have in the data set we can choose one-sided or two-tailed t-test. We have a two-tailed like we did before. Change that to three, as we had before. Confidence interval, we're going to change that. OK. And there's our results. T-value of 6.9, degrees of freedom of 13, p-value 9.95 to the minus 6. That means we add six noughts in front of that move the decimal place. And there's our 95% confidence interval. That's it. Carrying out the one sample t-test in R is remarkably easy. We have some data here to find a vector with the same set of values that we had in uh, SPSS. Now, just for thoroughness, put it into a data frame. We are my data frame two because we've already got one. Remember from the R commander session, and then we attach it. And if we type in some data, there's our results. Right. 
carry out the Quantum T test. It's incredibly terse bit of code. There we are. T test the data, and we're saying that the alternative, the null hypothesis rather, that we're comparing our sample against is a mean of three. There's the results, identical to SPSSS. T value, degrees of freedom. P value, again, that's very low, six zeros, and 95% confidence intervals. We could have obviously used the data frame which we defined in the our commander, se our commander session. So we detach our present data frame and we attach the other one. Now if we just type in names, so remember this is the import from SPSS. We have that one column result. Interestingly, if we just missed out the mu value, the population value we're comparing against is three, and don't put it in, it assumes it's zero. So if we typed in that, we get results comparing our sample against the population value zero. So, in this session, we have had a quick look at the single sample C test carried out in both SPSS, R Commander, and finally R. Um, you can find explanations, as I say, in my PDF documents at robin-beaumont.co.uk slash virtualclassroom slash stats slash course1html. Bye.